What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm here today with my little brother, Mr. Preteria, and what we did is we went on our social medias and asked you guys to send us a bunch of questions. So shout out to everyone who did send a question. You guys are hilarious. And let's go ahead and begin with the very first question. Okay, so for the first question, it's from Snapchat and it's from Jeffrey-34. The question is, would you rather have all the sneakers in the world or travel around the world. So would I rather have all the shoes in the world or travel around the world? Easy question. I would definitely travel around the world. When you travel, you open your your life experiences to so many different cultures, to so many different things that you didn't even know exist. So the life, I would definitely take life experiences over sneakers. I agree with that. I feel like shoes come and go, but the memories that you'll have traveling around the world will last you Forever, so I definitely next question is from Twitter as well. This one is from Zach Zaraga, and his question is first pair of kicks that inspired you to become a sneakerhead, and if you guys played 1v1 in football, who would win? <laughs> so go ahead, you want to okay, answer let's that start first with one? the uh, sneaker that got me into the game, and it would have to be the Jordan 1 UNC mm. in the patent leather. <laughs> I Personally didn't have it, my brother had it, I but had I was it, like, yeah. yo, bro, what are those? And that really got me into sneakers. I remember trying to get them and my mom was like, get a size nine because you're gonna grow into them. <laughs> <laughs> and I stayed at size eight ever since middle school. So they were always too big for me. But for my, uh, the one that inspired me to become a sneakerhead was probably the Nike Hyperflights. That was the first sneaker that they, for me, that, that was the first sneaker that they made in multiple colors. So when I had one, I wanted to get the same shoe but in different colors. Next question is from Snapchat as well. It's a pretty good one. What brand would you choose in terms of style, Nike or Adidas? In terms of style, if I were to choose Nike or Adidas, it'd definitely be Nike. Woo! I love Nike's apparel. I love their apparel. I've always loved their apparel and I love their shoes, so Nike it is. Interesting answer from Mr. Prateria. Mine would definitely be Adidas for style because Adidas, they have uh, Raph Simmons, they have Rick Owens, Yoji Yamamoto. In terms of Nike, it's more athletic and even their designers are athletic with Oliver Roustang, so definitely Adidas. And his other question was, if me and him were to play one-on-one, -on -one, who would win? Um, no brainer. <laughs> Come on. No brainer. Come on. No brainer. That's the reason why I'm not doing YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next question is from the Savage Hype Beast on Instagram, and his question is, "What is your first pair of sneakers, both you and your brother?" Okay. Um, my first has to be the the Dadas, the <laughs> Latrell Sprewell Dadas, where every time there, that, there was a spinning wheel on the shoe, so every time you took a step. The, the wheel would spin like they had them on the rims Dang. in the cars. That means you're old, bro. Okay, so mine were pretty funny. They were called the Skittles Pro Keds. Oh my I God. honestly did not even know this what these guy were. thought he was the freshest I guy. did not know what they were, but I thought they were I fresh. Swear to God. Next question is from JC underscore Munar31 on Instagram, and his question is, what does it take for a new YouTuber just starting YouTube? I actually get this question a lot, especially from people who are just starting YouTube, and the advice I always give them is to always stay consistent. Be true to what you want your channel to be. Do not watch too many videos and try to copy their videos. Have your own style, have your own personality, and always have something to keep people coming back to your channel. This question is from Raph Wants You, and his question is Rick Owens or Raph Simmons? All right, so this is a this is a pretty good question. I think since they're both part of the team Adidas, but I would have to go with Rick Owens. I feel like I can see myself wearing more of the Rick Owens stuff. His cut and sew is amazing. And in terms of sneakers, I think he just comes out with better looking sneakers. All right, guys, so next question is from Twitter. This one is from Gab Rivera, and their question is, what is your most favorite sneaker? Good question. My most favorite sneaker of all time is a shoe that I have never had and don't have now. It's the Air Max One Atmos. Mm. There's gonna be a picture right over here. Right Boom. Bam. My favorite sneaker of all time has to be my Nike SB Huxtable. That was the first sneaker that, that I kid you not, that I broke next. And every time I wore that in the mall, everybody was like, I love, I love those. This next question is from Nathan Desum underscore. And his question is, 
best sneaker release of 2016 so far. Oh my god, there's just so many to choose from. But mine has to be the 750s. You guys can call me hypey all you guys want. But when the p photos first came out of those, I already made a video about how bad I wanted them. I stayed away from resale, and I finally came victorious getting them for retail. So the 750 gum bottoms. And mine has to be the Nike Presto collab with Akron. Woo! Those are fire. Those are dope, but... We don't have them. <laughs> Next question is from Instagram now, and it is from David Afrikian. And his question is, favorite football team, soccer team? So, we'll do it on three. All right. One, two, two three. three. Manchester Manchester United. Are you serious? This next question is from Mr. Porteria, and the question Not is, <laughs> I know there are a lot of things you love about your brother, but if you could choose your top three things you love about your brother, what would it be? Why are you serious? <laughs> Next question is from Aaron X. Zordon, and his question is, what do you think of our president so far? And if you could pick a shoe that he would wear, what would it be? I think he's talking about the Philippine president, which is Duterte. And um, I think he's, I think his, mm, <laughs> I think, <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Mm. So with that being said, my shoe for him would have to be the Christian Louboutin sneakers with the spikes on them Because it's just oh, so yeah. badass. Just imagine Dang. our president wearing some red bottoms with some spikes on it. How okay. badass would that be? That's kind of funny because mine would be the Nike Air foam posits because it, it's like durable You know, he's got that armor if people are trying to shoot at him <laughs> Bounce off the shoe. So yeah, the phone posits. Next question comes from Anday AMRC, and their question is, what's the best starter sneaker for new sneakerheads? And I think I have one in mind. Me too. All right, so in three, two, one. Ultra, Ultra Boost. Boost. Easy. It has to be. No brainer. Next question is from Paolo Banlilio, and his question is, sponsorship from Nike or Adidas? Man, this can this could actually get us in trouble, but uh, in terms of sneakers, Adidas. In terms of athletic gear, soccer gear, Nike. In terms of everything, Nike for me. Next question comes from Medjo Maarao, and his question is, what is your favorite local streetwear brand? And yours is? Hands down, has to be for me, Progress. I, I really like Progress. Um, they showed me a lot of love when I went to the store, it gave me some freebies, um, so yeah, progress. Mine has to be, I have two favorite local streetwear brands, and it has to be Royalty, shout out to Doyle, and DBTK, don't blame the kids, shout out to Vince. Next question is from Instagram as well, mick 2 Garcia. What is your current favorite sneaker? My current favorite sneaker has got to be the Nike Racers, man. The Flyknit Racers. Because um, I can't say something that I don't have because I won't know the comfortability okay. and stuff like that okay. and the fit. Um, but I have a bunch of Nike Flyknit Racers, so... So it's like a daily shoe for me. I feel like this is like Team Adidas, <coughs> Team Nike over here. Mine has to be the NMD City Socks. I went on about it. It's, I kid you not, ask this guy. I wear that shoe every single day. It is the most comfortable, <laughs> easiest to put on as Bro, well. Disgusting. And it's just, he wears it literally every I day. Kid you guys, I wear it every day. <laughs> this question is from Fami underscore Rizlan, and the question is, what are both your favorite football boots at the moment, and why? This one, again, Team Adidas, Team Nike. Uh, mine at the moment has to be the Adidas. X. I mean, look at this shoe. Come on, man. Like, just the name alone already sounds like you've scored 10 goals. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for me, since I'm Team Nike, um, this is a colorway that is kind of old, but I brought it back, and BAM! The Nike Hyper Venoms. Hyper -venoms. These are completely fire. All right, next question comes from our friend JP Saavedra, oh and his question is to OJ, if you could go back in time and see your middle school self, would you tell yourself to keep the collar pop <laughs> or put it down? Man, the collar pop is long con. I would never, ever 
wear that again. <laughs> Next question is from BJC22. Mr. Lightskin. Mr. Light Mr. Lightskin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His question is What motivates you to keep on going? You motivate me, BJ. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of YouTube and what I'm doing right now, to be in all honesty, the subscribers. Every time you guys leave a good comment, tweet me inspirational things, or anytime you guys go to the shop, visit me, and ask for photos and tell me that I motivate or I've inspired you guys. That's truly the thing that keeps me going and it keeps me wanting to keep producing videos on YouTube. For me, um, the thing that keeps me going, the reason why I do what I do every single day is because of my family. Woo! <laughs> my family has always supported me and and I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have my family. Dang. So you, you've definitely got to thank the people that brought you up. And finally, for our last question for this video comes from the kid, Sheila, and their question is, what's the hardest part about being away from family? Go ahead, you can answer that one first. That's a really good question, by the way. Um, Very relevant. Yeah, um, well, for me, I would say time. Just that time that you could have with your family. Like, my sister, Joyce, um, just had a newborn kid, Ooh, and his name is Devin, Devin. Chase. Hey. Um, and when he was born, I was here in the Philippines, and it was just hurting me that I, I couldn't be there for those moments, those special moments that you can't really take back, but that's life, so. Adding on to what he said, hardest moments is, yeah, watching your first nephew grow up through social media. <laughs> That's, that's really hard in the holidays when everyone's already celebrating and stuff like that. And sometimes we don't share the same holidays as the US. So you definitely miss a lot of those things. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed our first Q&A together. We couldn't fit all of the questions on there because we want to keep the the video for a part two so if you do want to see a part two go ahead and hit that like button for us and if you guys did enjoy this content if you guys did enjoy mr Pertera, go ahead and check him out i'll put all of his details down below and do you, do you have anything to say i Any just shout say outs? thank you guys for your questions it was real fun having this video done with my brother and with all that being said if you guys want to keep chopping it up with me you guys can always find me on all of my social medias all under ralph mcfly guy and with all that being said, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace! See, I'm a Filipino kid who grew up with the Hispanics. Hung around the block, started talking with the accent. My shirt got bigger, my pants started